Hey guys, today I'm going to do a how to tint your brows at home using a brand that I've just picked up from Hairways. I'm using Natural Brown, which is shade number three. They do deeper shades for darker hair and lighter shades if you're fairer. I find the Natural Brown is the one that gives me the ashiest tone. I only tend to tint my brows when I'm going on holiday. I take a dappen dish, which is a clear little glass pot. And I usually mix between one and a half to two centimetres and I give it a good mix in the pot before I put in the developer. So this is the cream developer that I use with the Reflector Seal. Again, both can be found in Hairways or online and this one is 3% which is 10 bowl. For one centimetre of Reflector Seal you need eight to ten drops of the oxidant. You want to mix that really, really well so that you get a nice thick consistency and it's really important that you always do a patch test on yourself and this should be done either behind your ear or on the bend of your elbow. And if you don't react within 48 to 72 hours then you are good to use the tint. If you do have any red blotchiness then you shouldn't use it. By the way I should mention this is not a sponsored tutorial, Reflectosil is the brand that my twin sister uses on me so I know I like it, I don't react to it so I always use this one. Now I like a super light tint, this is my natural brows. If you like it stronger and you want it to take longer, leave it on for the full 10 minutes. But I do mine in small increments. So I take an orange wood stick and I apply this to the brow, pushing it into the hair so it touches the skin. And also make sure that you touch both sides of your hair, that way it will really take on the tint. The great thing about tinting your brows is that it will stain your skin which means that your brow will naturally look slightly darker where you don't have hair and those tiny white vellus hairs that you can't see will also take on the tint making them look fuller. Also don't worry about being messy at this stage, you just want to get the tint on and then we're going to clean up the edges. To do so I'm taking a damp cotton bud and I'm creating a nice crisp line on the base of my eyebrow. I'm also going to do the same along the top and then also along the arch and the tail of the eyebrow as well. Now as I mentioned, I like a really light natural tint. It will also show up a little bit more defined when I'm not in studio lighting. I tend to take my tint off after just one minute because my hair really grabs with tint. And then if I need it to be a little bit darker, I will then repeat the same process. I'd rather that than my brows going too dark too quick. I start by using a cotton bud to wipe off the excess product. Then I go in with a damp cotton pad and I work that right between the hairs to make sure I've completely removed the tint. You'll see I've got a subtle stain into the skin and the hair is a bit darker, so I'm gonna repeat the process again and just leave it on for one extra minute. You'll know I love a very natural eyebrow, but for those of you that like it a little bit more intense, you can leave it on for the full 10 minutes. So as you can see from my before and after, what I've got is a really nice natural result. This is how my brows look when they've been filled in with a pencil, and this will last me two to four weeks. So I hope you found that useful and informative. Please share this with any of your light eyebrowed friends that need a tint that are fed up with penciling them in day after day. Please give the tutorial a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, my social handles are on screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!